Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Sri Lanka is at risk of facing a food crisis in the coming months as people wait in queues for essentials. The local market is already facing a shortage of essential items like rice, leaving people in queues to buy what's available. The government had published a gazette this week to regulate the selling price of rice. The Consumer Affairs Authority carried out raids to crack down on traders who sell rice at rates higher than the maximum retail price. Officers had raided a store that had hoarded about 1,000 kilos of rice without releasing them to the market. We found that some traders were selling rice at higher prices. We will take legal action against this. Officers also inspected stores in many areas of Hambantuta and informed traders of the regulations that are in place. They had taken legal action against five traders who failed to display the price on products such as rice. Agriculture Minister Mahinda Amaravira insists that Sri Lanka has enough rice stocks for the coming months. Don't hoard stocks of rice by unnecessarily panicking and assuming that you won't have anything to eat. We have estimated paddy to be cultivated across 275 hectares for the Yala season, but I can responsibly say that farmers have cultivated more than that. That will be enough for consumption. We will have to import rice for two months only after that. There is no need to hoard stocks. Ordinary people are facing the brunt of these issues. Our reporters visited shops in many areas to inquire into the prices of goods. Imported potatoes cost 260 rupees or 280 rupees a kilo. Local potatoes cost about 380 to 400 rupees. Garlic is 700 or 800 rupees. Dal costs more than 600 rupees. A kilo of poultry feed that we prepared for 70 or 80 rupees is now 200 or 220 rupees. Due to the fertilizer crisis, we have only received about 70% of the total products into the market. The rest of the animal feed has to be imported. The cost of eggs have gone up to about 45 rupees. We will have to sell eggs at 50 rupees or 55 rupees in the future. The Women for Freedom movement held a protest in Badulla to oppose the rising cost of living. <laughs> Sri Lankan women have been affected by a tremendous burden. The worries that they face in the kitchen can't be explained. We are fed up of being in queues.